Now for the statement of the problem. The country produces 100 tons of waste paper annually. While 60% of it is recycled, the remaining 40% still goes to landfills across the country. Did you know that 17% of everything that is printed is considered waste? Now these are only some of the reasons that we have decided to come up with the idea of a recycled paper vending machine. For the project overview, the project presented not only aims to assess the problem regarding sustainability and recycling, but also incorporates a sense of innovation in implementing the environment-friendly approach. It is basically a paper recycling process wherein waste paper is collected, transported, and processed to create recycled paper that is to be placed inside vending machines scattered throughout the metro. The project is said to be implemented in Metro Manila as form of dry run and further plans to increase the area of operation depends on the results from the initial release. The project is however limited by the following factors. Finding reliable collection sources where specialized beams are to be placed. Constant supply of waste papers. Consumer availability. Partnership with educational institutions. For our function tree, we only have three parameters, namely user, papers, and the paper rock. So first, the machine will allow the user to input his or her preference, type, or size of paper. After doing so, the vending machine will now start to dispense papers on the paper rock. Precautions like accurate counting were also implemented to prevent something inconvenient from happening. And when the desired number of papers were already acquired, it will now stop, and there you have it, the recycled papers as your output. For the conceptual framework, we come up with these three simple steps. First, we install collection bins on designated places. Next, it's collecting waste papers and then transport it from site to the factory. And when the collected waste papers arrive, it will now be segregated based on the type of paper. After doing so, the recycling process will now take place, wherein this process is made up of sub-processes. These processes are flattening of paper, cleaning, threading, dissolving, and rolling. After processing the paper waste, it will now be transported to educational institutions and placed inside the vending machines. To determine the need for a product, our group decided to conduct a survey um, with 40 participants wherein they were asked a series of questions, the first of which was, would installing a recycled paper vending machine in the campus benefit you in any way? For this, 95% answered yes and 5% answered no. For the second question, wherein they were asked, does the presence of such a machine help them think of the environment uh, in raising any awareness? 90% uh, of them said yes, while 10% of them said no. So, in conclusion, based on the data gathered, the project is feasible, and the need for it is proven by the survey that was conducted. Uh, so therefore, it is safe to assume that if such a project is indeed implemented, it would be a successful one as it would be able to help raise awareness for the environment and incorporate an innovative approach to recycling. Internet.